was standing in my front yard when I heard a familiar sound. A biker was coming down my street. I heard him gearing down. He was looking for someone I knew cause he was riding slow. I'd been there in the past, not sure where I was to go. He pulled up on his cycle, hair gray and skin a brown. Half his face was scarred with burns. You could tell he'd been around. His vest covered with patches, so old the color was gone. But he wasn't riding with a club, you could tell he rode alone. He said, I need directions. Came to see some friends of mine. They're living in a marble wall and I want to see them one more time. To ask them to do a favor for an old vet like me and welcome my son when he gets here. He was killed by an IED. He was on his second tour, had about two months to go. Killed guarding a convoy of gasoline near a town called Cormoto. They never saw the ones that did it, kind of like back in the knob. The convoy, it kept rolling, but it cost me and my son. He asked me had I been there, and I said in 65, I was glad to see another that cared, still a few of us alive. Told him who I'd been with, MAGV Team 162. He grinned and said, you've been there. I know what they used to do. Said that he'd gotten out back in 1981. Had thought he'd stay for 30, but it just wasn't no more fun. Too little discipline, too many regs for him to stick around. So he knew that he'd better get on out before he got busted down. He lost his wife in 85. Now he lost his son. So he guessed that he'd just ride alone until his life was done. I said, wait a minute. And went and got my old worn vest. Got my cycle out and said, let's go as brothers and lay your son to rest. So we both went to the wall and talked to our old friends. Told them his son was coming and would they take him in. Then he turned and saluted me. He said, it's time for me to move along. Started up his bike and with a wave down the road, my friend was gone.